Hi friends, welcome to Korshika. In this tutorial, I will show you how to style Oscar Sites frontend by overriding Oscar CSS files. Mainly, there are two options to use CSS files. First one, using Oscar's default CSS file with customization. Second, using our own CSS file from scratch. But in this tutorial, I will use first option that is using Oscar's default CSS file with customization. And also, I will show a demo for this. See here, I have changed the background color of this navigation bar and also of this active menu. I have added uh, these new styles by overriding Oscar styles.css file. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to override Oscar CSS files to add our new styles uh, for the front end. Friends, if you like this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to get the new video updates first to you because your likes and subscribe motivates me to do new videos. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's start the tutorial. To show you the demo for this tutorial here, I have created the Django project and did all the settings for Oscar. Also here I have opened uh, the Django Oscar library uh, after cloning it from github. This is the same version of Django Oscar I used in my demo project and uh, In the browser I have opened the read the docs of Django Oscar They have one of the recipe how to change Oscar's appearance for how to override Oscar CSS files I am following this recipe for how to override Oscar CSS files to style our Oscar sites frontend. Now let's see this. This is a guide for frontend developers working on Oscar projects, not on Oscar itself. And again they have written something here. Now let's see the overview. Oscar ships with a set of HTML templates and a collection of static files, for example images and JavaScript. Uh, here uh, in Django Oscar library, all modules from the uh, SRC directory are get installed after installing Django Oscar in our project. In SRC directory, there is Oscar, then templates. So Oscar have all the templates in this Oscar templates directory and a collection of static files inside Oscar uh, static directory. Oscar's default CSS is generated from LACE files. You may know that LACE is a CSS-like language with additional capabilities that can be compiled to CSS using a preprocessor. So, uh, in Oscar, LACE files are stored in Oscar's LACE directory and CSS files are stored in Oscar's CSS directory. Uh, and these CSS files are generated by compiling these LACE files. Next, uh, templates. Uh, we don't need this now. Now let's see uh, frontend versus dashboard. You may know that frontend is visible to all users of the site, including site administrator, and dashboard is visible or accessible only to the site administrator. The frontend and dashboard are intentionally kept very separate. The functionalities uh, for both of them are kept separate in Oscar. They incidentally both use bootstrap but may be updated individually. Uh, that is, in our case, we need to update its CSS files individually. The front end is based on bootstrap's lace files and ties it together with Oscar specific styling in styles.lace. That is, front end is based on these bootstrap uh, three files and uh, these are combined into one place that is styles.lace you can see here first from bootstrap3 directory variables.lace is imported see here uh, variables.lace this is variables.lace and from the same directory mixins.lace is imported here is the mixins.lace and from the page directory, mixins.lace is imported. Here is the page directory. This is mixins.list. And uh, like this, all files are combined into this one file. Here, the dashboard.lace contains the CSS code of uh, dashboard. 
on the other hand dashboard dot lay just contain a few customizations that are included alongside a copy of stock bootstrap css and at the time of writing using a different bootstrap version see here this dashboard.css file is generated from this dashboard.lace file and here all files from bootstrap 3 and uh, and from this dashboard directory are imported and combined into this one place that is dashboard.lace with some customizations next let's see uh, less versus css by default css files compiled from their less sources are used rather than the less ones that is by default uh, the css files which are generated by compiling less files are used instead instead of less directly to use less directly set oscar use less equals to true in our settings file and this will enable browser less preprocessor which lets you trial changes with a page reload if you want to commit your changes use the make css make file command which uses gulp for compiling into css but using uh, less directly and using the make css command for compiling into css is really intended only for development on oscar itself not in our projects so in this tutorial we will add new styles using only css files not less files so here they have said something about javascript files and uh, under customization uh, customizing templates next customizing statics let's see customizing statics for customizing oscar css files oscar static files are stored in oscar static when a django site is deployed the collect static command is run which collects static files from all install apps and puts them in a single location called the static root in your project ensure you have this static uh, root setting in settings.py file here i have added this static file setting uh, while doing the oscar setup I have specified uh, the static files directory inside of a root project uh, for static root. It is common for a separate HTTP server to be used to serve these files setting its document root to static root. That is we can use any HTTP server to, use, uh, to serve these files setting its document root to static root. There are two options to add new CSS styles. First one, for an individual project, you may want to override Oscar static files. That is, uh, we can use Oscar's default styles and we can also add our new styles to it. Another option is, uh, we need to simply ignore all of Oscar's CSS and uh, write our own from scratch. That is, we need to completely write all our own CSS files. But in this tutorial, I want to use first option. First option is I want to use Oscar's default CSS and uh, I also want to customize or add new CSS styles to it. The best way to do this is to have a statics folder within our project and to add it to the static files directory setting. In my project, here i have specified static directory inside of our root project in the static files directory setting that is then any files which match the same path as files in oscar will be served from our local statics folder instead of oscar that is for instance if you want to use a local version of oscar css styles.css we uh, could create a file uh, your project inside static inside oscar inside css and inside of that styles.css and this would override oscar's equivalent file in oscar layout.html template here is the path for styles.css file 
if you overwrite this file in our project it will pick up our project styles.css file instead of oscar so to make things easier oscar ships with a management command for creating a copy of its static files and this breaks the link with oscar static files and means uh, everything is within the control of the project so we need to run it as follows manage.py oscar folk statics and this is the recommended approach for non-trivial projects now i will show you the demo of how to style oscar frontend by overriding oscar styles.css file through this project so let's run the server python manage.py run server i will open this link so here i want uh, first i want to change the color of this navigation bar so i will inspect here here i am finding the complete view of this navigation bar okay i got this this is the view for this navigation bar i will double click here to get the styles for this class here uh, they have given uh, the background color and border color to this navigation bar now i will change the background color of this navigation bar okay i said that again uh, i will give the same color uh, to the border also so to add these new styles to the navigation bar uh, in our styles.css file we should have the copy of styles.css file in our project so to copy uh, the styles.css file or uh, all static files in our project we can use the command python manage.py oscar folk statics you can see here it is written that uh, all the oscar static files are copying uh, to the our project static directory great it's done now now i will reload the project you can see here the static directory is created and uh, all the oscar static files are placed inside this directory next i will open styles.css file to add new styles from oscar css styles.css okay next i will copy this uh, css class name and uh, i will search in this file paste i will paste here okay here is the uh, style for this class that is background color and border color now i will copy the color from here i will give the color uh, to both background and border here okay now let's run the server here close this inspector now refresh the page we can see here we have successfully uh, changed background color of this navigation bar 
okay now i uh, i want to change uh, the color of this uh, active menu inspect here Here is a, a LI element for this menu that is active. Here is the A which has the background color black. Here I am going to change the color now. I will select another color. okay here i have changed the color now so i will copy this classes and i will search in my styles.css file search here okay i got this now i will copy the color from here and will paste here Now I will open this browser, I will close this inspect menu and I will refresh here. We can see here now again we have successfully changed the background color of this active navigation menu. So friends in this tutorial we learn how to style Oscar sites front end by overriding Oscar styles.css file. So if you like this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to get the new video updates first to you because your likes and subscribe motivates me to do new videos. Now I will meet in the next tutorial with a new topic. Bye bye.